I started fingerboarding because my parents didn't let me ride a real skateboard as a kid. It was hard not being able to skate, but I found a lot of joy in being able to do tricks with my fingers instead of my feet. My name is Jack Perry and I've been fingerboarding for over 15 years. I'm from one of the most memed on places in the entire world, Ohio. A lot of the jokes you hear about this place are true, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing for me. People from Ohio need to learn how to create their own fun because there's literally nothing to do here. I think I've definitely done that by learning to fingerboard, learning to play guitar, learning to skateboard as an adult, and leaving this place whenever the hell I can. I started making fingerboard videos during the 2020 quarantine just to pass the time. The boredom of Ohio was definitely amplified by staying home all the time. Not only was that when I started making a ton of videos, but it's also when I got heavily back into learning how to skateboard. 2020 was definitely the best year I ever had skating, but unfortunately on December 27th of that year, I seriously injured my knee. I'll probably never be as good as I was that year, but I still enjoy skating in my free time. If you wanna see the injury, go back to my very first video. At that point, pretty much the only thing I could do was make fingerboard content. So I've been doing it ever since and been going all in. I've got a lot to be proud of, all thanks to fingerboarding. Some of my favorite accomplishments are being shared to the Barrick skateboarding account two times. Legends like Tony Hawk and Day One Song have seen several of my videos. And I've built an audience of nearly a million people across all platforms. I never thought I'd be able to do it. It's quite remarkable, honestly. A lot of people might be wondering what happened to my sponsorship with Tech Deck. I worked closely with Tech Deck for almost two years as a member of their flow team. It was really cool to feel like I was part of something huge, but after a while, it felt like it was time to move on. I wanted to make content that focused on the entire hobby of fingerboarding, not just one brand. It was definitely a bittersweet decision for me to leave the Tech Deck team. I am and always will be a huge fan of the brand, but I truly do think I made the right call for myself. No regrets. Being a sponsored fingerboarder is definitely cool, but it's kind of overrated. I think the future is looking really bright. I continue to learn more and more about the game that is content creation every single day, and I continue to see results. The only direction from here is up. I've got great plans for this year, and I cannot wait for y'all to see. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and thanks for playing.